Gentlemen, today you're going to find out about writing advantages and disadvantages essays. These are also sometimes known as for and against essays. You've probably done quite a lot with your teacher already, but this is to help you remember how to do them. So the first thing that you do in an exam or in a test or just when you're writing an essay is look at the title carefully. The title usually has two parts. The first part is a statement. In this case, nowadays many people travel by plane when they go abroad. This is your statement. The second part is a question that you have to answer. What are the pros and cons of this type of transport? When you finish your essay, make sure you count every single word. So in this case, you need to do between 150 to 200 words. Not more than 200, not less than 150. If you don't follow these rules, then you will lose marks in your um, exam or in the marking of your essay. So, next you want to comment on the topic by putting it into your own words. So this means you look at the title and you put it in your own words. Don't just repeat word for word because again you'll lose marks. So an example of rephrasing the title. Then you're going to comment on the task and state your intention. So this means that you look at the title again and the topic and then say what you're going to do. So in this essay you're going to look at both the pros and the cons and then examine some of these pros and cons. Examine means look at um, examples of each of them. So now you have your first paragraph that should look something like this. So you have your rephrased title and you've said what you're going to do in the essay. Your second paragraph, don't forget your topic sentence. So you're going to write about the advantages of air travel. So, easy topic sentence, air travel has many advantages. Then you need supporting sentences. Don't forget your organizing words. Organizing words can be any of these. If you've got further points for further supporting sentences, you can start to use these. And don't forget your examples. And your last sentences, obviously you'll be using words like finally and lastly. So your second paragraph will look something like this. Here are your organizing words and you start off talking about what the advantage is and then giving an example for each of your sentences. Then you move on to your third paragraph again starting with a topic sentence. This time we're talking about the disadvantages. You've got your organizing words, you've got the point that you're trying to make and the examples. And finally, your final paragraph is your conclusion. So in your conclusion, you sum up what you said. You can use a second conditional sentence and also don't forget to give your opinion about what you've been talking about. You could also use another conditional sentence here. So, introduce your conclusion. Use 
a second conditional. This is the form for your second conditional. And here is how you can give your opinion. This is an example of the conclusion. Again, you have your topic sentence, you have your organising words. Here is your second conditional. Here is your opinion. And finally, here is another second conditional. If you use this format for advantages and disadvantages essays, you are likely to get a pretty good mark.